Help from the nation's capital is coming to the Northeast Kingdom following a propane truck explosion that destroyed a bridge in early December. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg announced his department will make more than a million dollars available for a new bridge. And while this will not cover the full $3 million cost, Fox 44's Matt Holderman reports that VTrans is happy for any help. A little more than two months ago, on Monday, December 4th, this was the scene in Irisburg as a propane truck crashed into the Black River and burst into flames. The driver was okay, but the Route 14 bridge just above, not so much, as the fire burned for days on end and slowly ate away at the structure. In the months since, traffic has been temporarily rerouted and repair work has begun. There wasn't a whole lot we could salvage from the, the previous bridge, so this is a, a brand new bridge. With Route 14 being one of the main roads Connecting Irisburg with other nearby towns, VTrans got to work before even knowing if they would receive relief money. But Tuesday morning, that came in a big way, with the U.S. Department of Transportation granting $1.2 million in quick-release emergency funds, meaning VTrans can start drawing from that pot right away. The quick-release funds uh, certainly are appreciated because uh, it means we don't have to encumber other funds uh, while we wait you know, for the construction to, to conclude. U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg shared his thoughts after announcing the funding, saying, quote, we know how important this bridge is to the people of Vermont. The Biden-Harris administration is making these federal emergency funds available to help restore travel on this critical route as quickly and safely as possible. And according to VTrans Chief Engineer Jeremy Reed, it will, without a doubt, be quick. We expect to have um, traffic restored and on the bridge middle middle to late April, actually. We're certainly not in any way slow walking this. We've, we've, you know, done everything we can to expedite the reconstruction of this bridge. Matt Holderman, Fox 44 News.